Now, as you watch this video, I'll pull it up again. You watch what her lead wrist is doing to counter that, okay? So it is turning from this position, it is turning down to the ground, okay? Hey golfers, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Nelly Corda's golf swing and how it can help you out. In particular, we're gonna break down the down swing. Three things that she does, how she starts the down swing is number one. Number two is what she does with her trail elbow. And number three, probably the most important, what she does with her lead wrist. So we're gonna dive into that. Hopefully it'll help some of you out in your own down swing. So before we get started looking at that, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get started. So I'm gonna pull up Nelly's swing alongside me here. I know which one you prefer to be looking at, me or her. Hopefully you don't say me. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna look at is the first part of this, okay, how she starts the down swing. If you look at that video, you will notice that when she is at the top of the swing, and she is approaching the top of the swing, that her lower body, is already starting to work, okay? That is a really key move for her and for a lot of good players, okay? So we're kind of starting the lower body in a little bit of, there's a little bit of shifting and turning as this golf club is still going back. This is called separation, can really help with par, can help with shallowing the club, so many things. And it's definitely a move that we see a lot of golfers making, okay? So number one, if you want to start to incorporate this into your game, what I would tend to do is make my normal swing. But as I get to near the top of my swing, I'm going to start my lower body rotating. Okay. Now, as I do this, I have to be very, very careful because what a lot of golfers do, they start the down swing by letting the hips and the shoulders go at the same time. Okay. And you can see that that just puts the club in a very over the top position all right so the key here is you're going to as you near the top of your backswing let the lower body go but you're still going to try and keep the upper body essentially closed or back to the target okay so as i do this i'm creating that separation all right really really powerful way to do it we do not want to start it by going both at once okay no separation no power club gets out over the top not good so you can really see that in Nelly's swing as she is approaching the top the lower body has started to go okay so try that yourself before you finish your back swing start your hips and just let that club lag behind keep the upper body a bit closed and you'll definitely find you get yourself a lot more power in your shots it's a really nice feeling to have as well okay so that's number one that's the first thing that we can take number two this is a really big one what she does with her right arm okay what a lot of golfers do is as they start the down swing they maybe get the elbow stuck in behind them and that's no good because now it has to get off has to flip this can happen because golfers also maybe pull the shaft down steep this tends to get the elbow pinned Again, now we're stuck. We have to try and stand up so we don't just take a big sirloin steak of a divot. We have to somehow shallow up. Handle rises. All these things, no good. Okay. So we've talked about how she starts the down swing. Now, here is what she does with the right arm, which is so good. As she is coming into this position, because her hips started, she's created some space here for her right elbow to come down in front of her right hip okay this is a move we're going to see a lot again a lot of great players and i keep referencing that she is a great player and a lot of the great players exhibit the same qualities okay so we are top starting and you see the elbow down in front okay not stuck not getting the body in the way either because we can't get the elbow out in front we'd never hit the ball okay so she starts that down swing, the hips move back to create space for this arm to be able to come through, okay? So that's number two, all right? And you can tie these all into one little feeling or pick one of them and work on one at a time, all right? Start with the how you trigger your down swing and then start to think, okay, 
kind of getting that good now elbow down in front perfect and three and then the third piece right as i said this is the most important piece that she does okay and this is what she does with her lead wrist if you've watched my videos before and i've talked about the right elbow being down in front with the elbow leading the wrist really good position to be in but we do know that that move plus the rotation the elbow in front can get the club face very very open all right now as you watch this video i'll pull it up again you watch what her lead wrist is doing to counter that okay so it is turning from this position it is turning down to the ground okay there's a little bit of bow in it as well which is fantastic because look as i come down start the down swing elbow in front start to do that move with my lead wrist i not only keep the face square but i get an incredible amount of shaft lean on the club as well which is again deal often the club compression distance quality of strike so many things okay so i think this is a really really important one as we go start elbow in front now we're here we're going to let this lead wrist or logo of the glove again good time for the advert if you're anything like me and you like to wear a good quality leather glove when you're playing golf but don't fancy the high price tag well, go and check out my channel sponsors page for premium leather gloves at a fraction of the cost. You use code David at checkout and you'll save yourself a nice little bit of cash as well. Turn down to the ground. I'm trying my best to do what she does. Wish I could do what she does. So she is turning the lead wrist to the ground while adding some bow to it as well. So in here, that way that's what keeps her face so stable through this portion here a lot of people are going to do this start the down swing lower body elbow in front and then sure enough first time to try it it's going to be way off to the right so that is fine do not panic if that happens the first time you try the first two parts of this what you need to do is learn to do that but also turn that down like nelly all right that could be the thumbnail turn it down like nelly we get the rapper involved oh what he's doing i haven't seen he's like him so anyway right so those are three things that you can take from nelly's swing all right number one starting the down swing with your lower body before you complete the back swing with your upper body that's number one number two as you do that move we want the elbow down in front of us okay and number three the piece that puts that all together is the lead wrist turning down this way so that you can hit and i'll kind of do it here nice and slow and through that way okay Really, really good. Take some of these, try them. Let me know in the comments how you get on with it. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.